Hey everyone, welcome to our ultimate guide on how to beat door 150 of the mines. All right, here we go. Uh, first things first, just hold W. He literally can't win if you yep, just hold W. There it is. You can look at him if you want. So, you're gonna come in here, and there'll be this button and this weird obelisk-looking thing, and you're gonna activate it. Uh, and after it gets power, it'll start pointing over here. All these doors will open, and there will be a number in the bottom left. You've got to put in the number. Uh, so for example, it's 407. I'm gonna let you put in the numbers because you're recording. You gotta input the number and it'll activate. Right, 407. Boom. After that, you gotta go back to the uh, machine, this terminal, and you gotta press the button again, and it'll tell you to locate another one. So this is anchor B. Now, there's a couple things you can do to actually find the anchor. First of all, uh, the satellite dish up here will actually point at it, and you'll also be able to identify it by the sound it makes if you're using headphones and directional audio. Yep. Uh, there is a little bit of loot around here, like over here there's a lighter if someone needs it. Um, and you can also come out here and there's a little bit of loot and in this area you're completely safe along with this middle room It is completely safe until later. So, uh, let's go ahead and start locating those anchors. Yeah, sounds good So you can see that there is a grumble over there and he's probably gonna see us Whoa. So They cannot fit into the main lobby area. So if nothing else you can go through uh, Into the main lobby area and you're perfectly safe from them there yep. are multiple that roam the different areas, so keep that in mind. You can get cornered by multiple. Yeah, that um, got me the first time I played. There were, like, so many. I'm like, what the heck? Also, the Grumbles cannot make it through any small doors like this. So if you go through a small side room, you are completely good to go. Uh, now, if you have glow sticks, which realistically you will, you can use them to throw down the alleys like this to get a better idea of where the Grumbles are and where they're coming from. This is a super useful thing, especially if you're going to be going by an area multiple times. Whoa! So here's our first major tip. If you shine a light on one of them using like a flashlight, I don't think the laser pointer works, but using a flashlight yeah. or a bulb light, wow. it will heavily slow them yeah, down. Yeah, he definitely giving you time saved to run me. away. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna go this way now. Use your audio. <laughs> definitely gonna want to play with headphones for this because the spatial definitely. audio is really helpful. That, now, there are a few spawns for these, but a really common one is you're gonna come um, through this crawl space and head over here all right i'll put this one in yeah and you got to input the code now uh can you explain the the so math gimmick if it I is really do that minus it open. if it is if it's minus one or it'll be it'll either be a plus or a minus etc but this one's minus one so our original code is two three four so i just have to do minus one from each of those numbers so therefore it'd be one two three wait yeah, just get the you have to input one two three, and it will give you. And two, it'll four. adjust to two. Three, it will four. adjust yep. automatically. So once that's on, you'll have to return back to the anchor and activate another. Now, a couple quick item tips I want to give. Uh, obviously, the most useful thing to have is going to be a flashlight or a bulk light because you can mm -hmm. slow them down. Glow sticks, super useful, and they're everywhere, so you should definitely be trying to collect those. If you can get your hands on a battery pack, that'll be a big deal. Um, and another huge item that'll help you out is the shears because there's actually a lot of yeah vines around a lot here. of shortcuts you can i use make that. dead uh he might be yep, yep he's dead oh uh, also yeah so just in general the grumbles cannot hit get to you if you're in any small space so if you go through a regular door or if you go into a crawl space or even if you go into a closet that's actually a, basically a safe zone sweet a good way to tell if one's nearby is if you can hear actual laughing because you'll constantly be hearing hearing the gurgling noises and the uh, giggling, but only you will only hear actual laughing if one is really close. So a couple more tips that will come up over the course of us playing, but uh, I'm gonna talk about them now. You can use lockers to hide from them, although do note that hide will kick you out of lockers here, unlike in door 50 with the figure. Mm -hmm. So you do actually have to time your lockers, and given that you can only use each locker once in floor two, it's a lot harder. Mm -hmm. um, we need to go up for this one. So for going up, it's usually actually counterintuitive. You need to go to the uh, staircase on the other side of which side you're trying to go up at because of the balconies letting you cross over. Um, so we're trying to go up on this side, although actually I think we got really weird luck. Yeah, we did. So mm. both ways up are going to be over here, but All sometimes right. you'll need to go to the opposite side in order to get up. All right, we're going this, this way? way? Which yeah. way are we going? I'll go this way. It's the way I usually always go. Also, just a heads up, the uh, right side is actually usually safer because the first area doesn't have any grumbles in it. It's got this, like, minecart bit that they can't get to. Oh, that's actually um, nice. But another note, yeah, so let's head up here. 
We could cross over using the balcony, but let's not bother. You can also, just a heads up, they actually don't insta-kill you. They knock you back and do about half of your health. Usually you're going to die because you'll get backed into a corner, but mm -hmm. sometimes you can recover from it. Um, fun tip, oh, there's always a toolbox behind this. Uh... Ooh, nice. I actually don't know if it's safe in there. I would guess it is, but... Oh, here's one of the um, uh, sheer areas to use. Yeah, here's a shears area. Here's a fun fact. They actually can't fit through here. So this That's is a nice. good way to isolate yourself. Although they can come from that way. So... Oh, I um, found... Uh, also, this is one of the... Sometimes there are ladders that you could climb. And if you are if you have good shears durability among your general party... Um, oh, hey, we found D before we actually needed it. That's Sweet. funny. Uh, if you have good shears durability among your party, you can actually shear these to get loot. I'm gonna do it for the sake of display, but if you're low on shears durability, yeah, sometimes the loot sucks. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't recommend doing it, because cutting through the vines around the, uh, grumble area is probably more useful than the little bit of loot you could get. But if you've got good shears durability among multiple people, then you could go ahead and use that. So, another thing that only takes into uh, effect if you're on high graphics quality, but can be really useful, you can actually see the shadows of the tentacles moving along the wall with the glow sticks. Um, we need to go that way, which kind of sucks. Yeah. So, uh, we, we got one coming Ooh, this way, so let's wait for wow. that one to go past, and then Whoa. Just, just come right through here and you're good. Uh, if we let's wait for that one to go past and go by it. So All a lot right. of this is patience. You just need to be ready to uh, back up and understand that you're in danger. Um, okay, I think it's gonna be. What's it? We're close. Yeah, around, around here. The right. Maybe? Right here. In here. Oh, there we go. So oh, this nice. is the only anchor where they can actually get you while you're. No, I think it. there's just one more. Up. There's one more where. They is can there one get more? You. Me and uh, Mason were doing it and. They were actually, there's one like room, it didn't look like they could get in, but they got in, but we got uh, in. Do you want to input the code? Oh uh, yeah. For content. One purposes. coming in real quick. So if this one goes. Alright, I think I'm good. What is it? Plus All three, right. so that would be zero, 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 seven. Zero, yep. zero, seven. Alright, yeah. So plus three. Hope All you right, guys will get that here. math. I'll try to explain it better. In Honestly, this probably context. was a way easier way to get to here, but you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Actually, was it? Nope, this goes to this. Oh yeah, this oh, wait, is the yeah, one I was, was gonna go up to. Yeah, that would've been really nice. Let's see what this code would be. So this one's minus three. So zero will represent 10. So minus three from zero will be now seven. Three minus eight will be five. And zero minus 10 will be seven again. And Should I boom. open the other shears loot box? There we go. Oh, where is that at? Where is it? There's one over here. Oh. Go for it. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Gambling. Oh, oh amazing. All right, guys. I wonder if that's bugged. <laughs> I don't know. It, I wouldn't doubt it. I would not doubt it. All right, it is up there. Man, we had a so lot on the right side. This is pointing today. up there. Yeah. Yep, so right just here. keep in mind, you, know, you don't always need to go directly the direction you hear it from. Sometimes it'll be in a side room. All right, guys. So this anchor E is plus three. The code is four six one. So four plus three is seven. Uh, six plus three is nine, and one plus three is four. So boom. yeah, just a heads up. The last anchor will always not show you the numbers you're inputting. Yeah, I don't think I don't like think the last one did either. I'm not sure if the last uh, one did. It might have, but I don't think it did. We should fact check that. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. So, this one's pretty hard to get by because there's, like, kind of nowhere for them to go. This this is the, this is a dead end, so it's a little harder to get out of because this is just oh. this is just insulting. Yeah, yeah. So, don't run that way, by the way. Yeah, that would be horrible. We're going to throw close It's a chance, it's a chance, it's a chance. Go. Yep, go forward. Uh-oh. Uh, there's one coming, but I'll slow it down. Just go, just go, just go. Ooh, perfect in representation of slowing them down. They are really hard to avoid if you do not slow them down. But if you, yeah. okay, you know what? We're gonna test it now. So you want to take my items? Yes. All right. So that uh, here's the most important stuff. I'll keep the rest. All right, guys. We're gonna test oh, out. Oh yeah. That, you that? Yeah, I'll take that. All right, guys. So we are gonna test out if what happens if you teleport 
or continue without everyone being in the beacon room. Because if if the figure is anything to go by, it won't teleport me and I'll just die. But all right, I pressed it. Are you getting the cutscene? I had Screech on me before this cutscene. Oh yeah, so I, it, I does oh, oh, it does teleport you. Okay. okay. So yeah, you you can actually just have everyone has to wait at the last safe location. All right, sweet. Uh, using it. the light on him doesn't slow him down here, I don't <laughs> think. Ah! All right, that's everything. And then yeah. guiding light will shut the door for you. All right, all right, right. Matt. And then you're free that's to head on it. to Jeff's shop. That's how you. That's how you beat Gore 150. Yeah. It's actually pretty easy once you uh, get the hang of it. But uh, all right, now I'm gonna get my loot. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Nah. Uh, I'll loot? give Lou back, actually. All right, now give, ah. give him an outro. Give him an outro, now. Nah. Give him an outro. All right, everyone. So that's how you can easily beat door 150. Uh, just a couple things to note, real quick. Bonus tips: if you have, uh, if you're playing with multiple people, you can actually have someone just wait at the uh, anchor and just press it the instant uh, the, you find the correct one, and that'll make it go faster because this is a pretty slow section. Uh, but that's about all we have to say today. That's how you can easily beat 150. We'll probably fact check some of that stuff and uh, include it in the edit. But that's all for now. Have a good one.